This is a film about the life of one of the greatest composers of the classical period. A man who was nicknamed the father of the symphony, was a friend of Mozart and was a teacher of Beethoven. This composer is Franz Joseph Haydn. Haydn was born on the 31st of March 1732 into a poor family in the village of Rora, where his father was a wheelwright and his mother cooked for the lords of the village. Franz, you are talented in music, but in this little town you have no chance of a proper musical education. This is why I have accepted an offer from our cousin Johann for you to attend a choir school and be educated in music. Yes, Papa. In the choir, he learned many practical skills from his many performances, but very little theory, and eventually his voice broke. Yes, his singing was dreadful, and although he was kept on for a short while, the last straw was when he snipped a fellow choir boy's pigtail off. Out! Now! Never disgrace my choir by ever returning ever again! Hello, my name is Joseph Haydn, and I know you are Nicola Popora. You are an esteemed composer, and I wondered if you would do me the honour of allowing me to be your accompanist in return for some instruction in composing? Of course I will. Soon after, he found work composing and conducting for the powerful Hungarian Esterhaz family. Haydn, you have worked for my family for many years, but now that my dear father is dead, it is left to me to decide your contract. And I am unsure as to whether I will choose to employ you any more, particularly as I find myself in certain mm, mm, uh, financial difficulties. But, sir, your family would be incomplete without a Kapellmeister like myself. Yes, but what do you really stand to gain from working for me? You could easily get a job elsewhere. Mm, it's true, I am lonely here, but being far away from other musicians means I am not influenced by other musical trends. I am forced to become original. In that case, I'll give you a deal. You can work for me, but you can take what time off you want, and you may publish your work for yourself. Thank you, sir. Hello, Mr. Haydn. My name is Johann Peter Salomon, and I'm a violinist and concertmaster. I've come across much of your work, and I have an important business proposal for you. Yes? I'd like to take you to perform in the theatres of England. And how will this benefit me? I believe the crowds of England will love you. They've never encountered your music before, and they'll enjoy this new music. And most importantly, pay lots of money to see and hear you conduct. I can tell this will be a marvellous creative opportunity, so I will come. Have you heard this amazing new music by Joseph Haydn? No, of course I haven't. I don't think I want any of this new music. It's concertos for me, thank you very much. Ah, oh, but I think you'll find that Mr. Haydn combines very well your old-fashioned Baroque concertos and his fabulous new symphonies. Oh, the symphonies. They're fantastic. All the orchestra plays at once. There are four movements and it's so exciting. Much less boring Baroque solos and far more real orchestra music. So, he still writes the good old concertos then. Mm, I can see why he's so popular. But I still think it sounds too new. What's he done that I might have heard of? Oh, lots. But the best one is the Surprise Symphony. Surprise Symphony? Yes, it's my favourite one. And it's quite funny, really. But I won't tell you why. You'll have to find out when you come and see it with us. Don't you worry, you'll love it. He still uses most of the same instruments and writes concertos. You'll love his music. Hmm, I suppose it must be all right if he uses the same instruments and does concertos. I'll come and see it if I must. It's superb! It's brilliant! This Haydn man is a genius! I knew you'd like it. What did you think of his string quartets? Were they not great? The only trouble is he leaves tonight. 
Will he come back again? I'm sure he will. After about a year in England, Haydn returned to Vienna, where he was extremely popular, and even taught Beethoven, another of the very popular composers of the classical period. After some time, he returned to England, where he was again extremely popular. Hooray! Hooray! Haydn has returned to England! I just love his new symphonies, especially the London symphonies, written specially for us. It's good to have him back. Ah, Haydn. Would you like to return as our part-time Kapellmeister? Yes, please. I believe I am too old to continue my work. I would like to retire. Yes, yes, go ahead. Thank you for all your work for my family. Here is your pension. I wish you well. Thank you, and goodbye, sir. For a while, Haydn composed at home, but soon he was too old and frail, and shortly he became fed up with being unable to compose. I'm not sure if you will live for much longer. I'm so very sorry. Cheer up. I'm all right. Haydn died on the 31st of May, 1809. He was a brilliant composer, and his contribution to the classical period was huge. As a friend of Mozart, he exchanged ideas and therefore inspired the other composer, as well as having taught Beethoven. This meant that he gave yet another composer a lot of the knowledge he would have needed when composing. As a result, he actually had a lot of influence on the period. When the later Romantic period came, some of Haydn's ideas remained, for example, symphonies, which Haydn was extremely important to the creating of, were still written and heard, along with operas, one of the genres that Haydn wrote. However, the instruments of the orchestra changed, and so did the music itself, becoming more emotional and sticking less to the rules of the classical period. Finally, just as the classical period took over the Baroque period, taking just a few features with it, so the Romantic period did for the classical. Haydn and his classical music, once so new and exciting, were left behind. <laughs>